There is a brand new movie streaming on Netflix today that you and your family will not want to miss. It's called Fill the Beat. And joining us now via Skype is the producer of this film, Susan Carsonis. It is so great to see you, Susan. I love the trailer to this film already. It must have been so much fun to work on. Thank you, Jeremy. It was so much fun to work on. That's what I did during the summer, last summer. And I'm so happy that we have this movie for kids and families this summer because I think everybody could use a little smile. You're absolutely right, and the trailer will make you smile. Can you give people like the premise of Feel the Beat, like what it's about? Yeah, sure. Um, April Debrina, played by Sophia Carson, who you might know from The Descendants, um, was it is a dancer, a professional dancer, very driven, has to make the big mistake. And he winds up having to go home to a small town in Wisconsin. And there, he's broken to like a band of misfit dancers who she leads to success and inner success. Really heartwarming. The dance dads are as funny and cute as dance moms. The kids are amazing. And um, Sophia is just a uh, she looks amazing in the trailer, but I want to say before we get to the adults, you know, they always joke, don't work with animals or kids. What was the experience like <laughs> working with kids? I would say always work with kids because every day on set, this is pre COVID times, you would be surrounded and hugged to within an inch of your life. In fact, I think that I'm, I banked hugs last summer that I'm drawing on now. I, you, you get so much love and so much fun because people are always singing and dancing. It's fantastic. And one of the things that stood out to me, which I love, 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 Susan, is I was watching the diversity of the children and one that really spoke to me as somebody who has worked with the deaf community, you have a deaf child who's one of the dancers. What was it like yes. working with the deaf child? It was really interesting for everybody in the cast and crew. We had an ASL master who translated all of the dialogue into sign language. We were taught by the parents of the deaf child and our ASL master that we always need to make signing accessible to the deaf character on screen in order to be, you know, honor the, the, the disability. Um, it was it was a learning experience for everybody, and all the kids learned sign language and were very interested in learning. I'm telling you, that is a skill those kids will take with them the rest of their lives, because I learned it as a child, and I'm telling you, I've used it so much. So I really honor that you chose that, and it must have been very difficult for her then to have to dance, not being he she's being hearing impaired. Well, you notice the title of the movie reflects... Uh, Yes. An aspect of the story that will illuminate that. And there's an Easter egg at the end of the movie, which is in, uh, that incorporates sign language and, and dance. I'm not going to say anything more. Okay, because don't, because I'm surprise. so excited to watch this tomorrow, uh, today. I'm so excited. Um, speaking of the adult cast, Sophia Carson, but I'm telling you, two people I love Enrico Colantoni and Donald and Champlin. I love them oh. both so much. They were a gift. Donna Lynn Champlin, it turns out, you'll know her from My Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Um, she is an award-winning theater actress with a background in dance. She was even in Billy Elliot on Broadway. So um, she brought that dance discipline. And as a dance teacher, she was really credible. And Enrico Colantoni, I mean, he is just a gift as an actor. And he really grounds the piece. And he's so funny in such a subtle, wonderful way. I just adore him. Uh, the cast looks amazing. I'm excited to watch this. But also, the, the production company, Resonate, you co-founded Resonate for the purpose of creating uh, films for women. Talk about that. Well, we're 52% of the population. We choose most of the movies that families go to. So you could say <laughs> we control about 75% of the movies that people watch in the world. And yet we only make about 20% of movies specifically with female protagonists. And, and I, I just really believe I want to see a reflection of who I, who I am, whether it's a girl or a grown woman. And we need more movies that show girl power. And this is definitely one of them. It's also super effective. 
sport and, and toward the guys in the movie. The, the dance dads are just the best. They're mm -hmm. fantastic. That's who I would audition for. I'd want to be a dance dad in this movie. I would you dream would be to be that. I would love that. <laughs> um, I also heard, too, you had some fun uh, days on set with a lot of ice cream. Oh, we had an ice cream incident. You know, when you go into a, to a town and you have to sort of take over Main Street, which is what we had to do to create the small town atmosphere, people are not always happy to see you. So what we did was wherever we could invest in the local businesses, we did. To, to ease the the sort of economic pressure of shutting down Main Street. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things we did is we bought out the local ice cream parlor that made ice cream from local cows. It was the best <laughs> ice cream I've ever had. And um, we let anybody who came through town, whether they were part of our cast and crew, whether they were locals, whether they were people who happened to be driving through, they could stop and have free ice cream. I think some of the kids had four or five cones in a day. So uh, it was, that must it was have been amazing. fun and, on set. And maybe maybe a producer had it <laughs> twice in a day. I I, I don't know. Could have happened. It sounds like you had an amazing time, Susan. I am so excited to see this movie, and I know you have something coming up uh, for Disney Channel too this summer. I do. It's called Upside Down Magic, and it's about a magic academy. It's absolutely awesome, and it's another girl power, very diverse, a very inclusive. Um, movie. I think that um, anybody who watches either one of these movies is going to see and feel that they are represented in some really strong, powerful, and funny and affectionate way. Susan, uh, you are welcome back on our show anytime. I love your vision. I love your mission. I love what you're doing for Hollywood and inspiring young girls because that's what we need to do right now. Every diversity that's out there, we want to inspire those young girls. Susan Carsonas, thank you so much. Feel the Beat is on Netflix right now. Go watch it with your entire family. I think this is going to be an instant classic. Thank you so much, Susan. Thank you, Jeremy. Have a, have a wonderful day. You too.